Uh, Receptor is a platform for sharing and, uh, and distributing AirSeq data. We kind of started about uh, seven years ago as a platform to make data easily accessible to researchers. Okay, and uh, what did iReceptor Plus do to iReceptor? I mean, the iReceptor Plus uh, took iReceptor to the next level. We're talking about uh, much larger data sets, many more repositories, um, integrated analysis tools, machine learning, um, all sorts of capabilities that are, I think, really important to add to the community and the research community. So, so during iReceptor Plus period, there was the COVID pandemic. How did it affect uh, the activity? Yeah, I mean, COVID, COVID obviously impacted the project. It was hard to get together, uh, but COVID actually had a, a really important uh, benefit to the project in a way. Uh, we uh, were very active in gathering COVID data and data sets that are uh, produced by researchers. Uh, and I think it gave an example of kind of what can be done uh, with data sharing uh, when people really want to share their data. And it kind of uh, was a really good example of how important AirSeq data sharing can be and the value of it. So it also was reflected in the number of citations and access and, and data sets in the system? Yeah, I mean, our, our usage uh, grew dramatically. Uh, we had one COVID, early COVID-19 data set that uh, mentioned iReceptor as the place where that data was available. And uh, we went probably up uh, in order of five times in terms of the number of user requests for new user accounts. And that level has uh, semi-sustained itself. So we have probably twice as many or three times as many monthly user account requests um, since COVID hit. And that's basically maintained itself since then. So it has had a dramatic impact. What are the technical challenges in running such a platform? Yeah, I mean, one of the challenges I think uh, is around sustainability. Uh, when we're trying to share data, um, and that data is is it's large, it's complex, and uh, it is challenging to to maintain that level of of data sharing uh, over time. So, funding comes for research projects. The, the research funding comes and goes, um, and it's really hard to maintain that kind of consistent level of funding that really allows that data to be sustained over time, which is really, really important. What is, in your opinion, the next thing that iReceptor should do? Yeah, I mean, we, so there's a couple of changes that have happened through the platform, through iReceptor Plus. I think one of the big parts is being able to help researchers um, analyze data. So I think that's a big component. And I think another big component is the emergence of single cell um, and single cell sequencing. And that is a, a kind of a, it's not new, new, but it's new, new enough that researchers are, we're just starting to see that kind of data. That data is just starting to be added to the Air Data Commons. So that type of data is now gonna be available to researchers. And I think that takes the capability of analysis to a new level that I, I, think, I think people are pretty excited about, as, as are we.